onion with That's the ketchup. Absolutely. Bag. <laughs> if you'll burn my bacon. Judy's uh, grocery is bait and tackle. You uh, come right. in some lunch today, didn't you? You need anything else? I like that all. As you are recording American history, Hello everyone, this is John Wool of the Appalachian Channel and I'm excited to be here in my home county of Campbell County uh, up here on Old Middlesbrough Highway. We call this Powell Valley or the Valley if you live here in the area. And this is an old classmate of mine, Richard Goins, and him and his sister Charlene bought out Judy's about three years ago and they've been running it ever since and they've got a great staff of people working here, great food. I've been eating here for 30 years and we're gonna go in today and have some of their special pinto beans and meet some of the customers and see some of the staff and watch them cook a little bit. How's that sound, Richard? That sounds good to me. All right, let's go in, buddy. What's your name again? To call me. How long have you worked here? Uh, about as long as Charlene and Richard have owned it. Oh, for three years? Yeah. Now your family, you related yeah. to them? I'm their niece. Their niece. How old are you now? I'm 22. 22. So you work here full time? Yep. Well, how do you like working here? That's pretty good. Pretty good? You bicker with family a little bit. But bicker with family? With family. Hard, hard work, harder working with family then. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for bringing my food out. You're welcome. There we go. We got greens which i'm not much on the greens i told them not to give me a whole lot on the greens i love the coleslaw here and here is the pinto beans and fried taters and butter i'm gonna get ready to eat this yeah. would y'all like to be on the video just a second well I'm sure so well we just make videos about uh, country stores for youtube and we're here filming today for the appalachian channel well, I've got one thing to say. It's one of the best breakfasts I've ever eaten. Oh, yeah? And, yes, uh, it's sitting over there getting warm. Campbell County. <laughs> yeah. So you can see here, what's your name? Pamela McFadden. Pamela, and your name's? Jerry Kidd. Yeah? D-I-D-D. -D. Yeah? So you live here local? Uh, I moved here in 91. In 91. Yeah. Now, Pam grew up in Fountain City. Where at? Fountain City. Oh, Fountain City. Yeah. Fountain City. Yeah, that's not yeah. far. <laughs> So you, I, I, I wandered back down here. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah. So you got to come here and eat breakfast? How often did you come here? Uh, this is our first trip. Oh, okay. Yeah. First time you've been here. How about that? Yeah, you know, we, we like to get out once a week, once a month. and Try different places. Try different places. And we have to start watching the Appalachian Channel because that's what I do is go to different places like this and film them. I've got a cousin over in Scott County that says he never misses one of your shows. Oh, so you've seen some of my shows. Okay. Yeah. How about that? He All watches right. them on YouTube. Yeah? Well, that's good. Yeah, well, you'll be on there now. He can and watch you. John, John Ward. John Ward. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So. All right. I'm here at Judy's uh, Grocery and Bait and Tackle, and uh, I've been eating here for over 30 years. Probably I moved about a mile away from here about 30 years ago. And I lived there until about 2010. My son still lives in that house. And uh, so I, this has been a regular stop for me. And we've been looking up the history about Judy's. And before this, um, Judy, the name Judy came in the 1980s. Um, 
when the lady uh, bought it by the name of Judy and she bought it and her and her husband run it up until just about three years ago and they sold it. Richard and his sister bought it and they, they've kind of expanded, I think, the food, the kitchen, they've built on, done a lot. Today's pinto beans, cornbread, greens, fried potatoes, and coleslaw, and I absolutely love their coleslaw. And I'm gonna dig in here and get me something to eat. Oh, butter. I gotta have me some of that uh, good old butter there for my beans and my cornbread. Get that on there, get me, uh, Charlene brought me a biscuit for it. And we're gonna try that. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on there. I guess she says you need to break it up and put it in the cornbread. So I think that's what I'll do right there. Look at that spoon right there. That's a that's a heck of a spoon. Mm. Those are good. Good beans, good beans. All right, I'm here with Charlene uh, Brewer and uh, Richard Goins, and Richard is a, uh, a classmate of mine. We went to school together in Campbell County, and uh, they're the owners of Judy's Grocery, and we're gonna talk to them just a minute here and get a little interview with them. And uh, uh, I know I've been coming here uh, since the early 90s when Judy bought it and we was doing a little research in, on the history of the store and Judy got it in the 80s mm -hmm. and then uh, you all grew up here right here close, oh, yeah, yeah. close to you all live from Valley View right up the, up yeah. the road by right. mile yeah so you all remember coming here as a kid soon? oh yeah 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 always but then it was called what? Back Ferris's. Leon Ferris owned it. Leon was just called yeah. Ferris. Ferris's, yeah. And it was a uh, bait and tackle. Right. Gas station. Gas pump, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. You, you said you would you come buy worms? Yeah, you come get your bait here. You get know. your bait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They probably fix a flat too if you had a flat, you know. So because they had a little garage, so that's pretty good. So Richard, you, yeah. you what kind of work you done most of your life after school? You work for Sarah Lee. <coughs> Delivery. Sarah Lee, did you? Kearns, Kearns. Sunbeam. Yeah, Sunbeam. Yeah. You did that uh, quite a few years. How many years did you do that? About 29. 29. So what came up that you all about three years ago, I reckon you all bought this place. What, yeah. what happened? What brought that about? It came up for sale and <laughs> she said, that's a real bite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So Go for it, you know, it's something that, you know, we're close to home, we're a mile away from it, you know, and we got grandbabies, so it gives us the option of we go see the grandbabies, you know, we got to do something with the grandbabies, we're going to do it. Yeah? Yeah. So did you, did uh, you being brother and sister, just get along pretty good? Uh, yeah, getting along I'm the good? boss. You're the boss. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get along good as long as he knows you're the boss. That's right. <laughs> no, not really. Well, it seems like you're the talker of the family anyway. Yeah, he doesn't talk much, but he, he does to everybody else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're going to be here filming some today, and you got to leave and go, go, go do some errands. So we probably won't see much more in the video, but uh, <laughs> see you about every time I come up here to yeah. eat. So. Oh, yeah. I'm the second shift. He's first shift. He's the cook. He's and I'm cook. the runner. He's the cook and the runner. <laughs> and I'm the runner. He's the cook. Well, I usually see him stocking these, uh, all these machines out yeah. there with all these drinks. You carry a b big variety of drinks here. Why oh, is yeah. that? Is that just enough people wants different things? Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think about how you like running the store, local country store here, Richard? It's a, about like anything else. It's a, sometimes a hassle and sometimes it's good. <laughs> how, how many hours you put in here with Richard? I don't know. Don't know. He's here from <laughs> four in the morning till probably six at night because he won't leave. <laughs> but you know, again, if he got to leave, you got to leave. You know, you leave. But he does. He puts way more hours in than I do. <laughs> well, I know he's always busy. I never, I never seen him sitting down when I was here. You know, it's always, it's always something to do in the store. Oh yeah. I mean, there's always something to do. So. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go back here and watch them cooking up some of the daily special. What are we having today for the special? Go ahead. Yeah, beans, greens, fried potatoes, and cornbread or salmon patties. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> All right. Well, Charlene, we'll let you go on to Knoxville. And we'll talk to you later. All righty. Okay? All righty. Yeah. All right, Charlene. Uh, why don't you introduce us? You said sure. everybody about just about family at work here, huh? Hello, girls. Hello. We introduced Carrie has been with. Uh, 
Judy and with us. I think she's been like 18 years. 19. 19, going on 19 now. Renee started with us back in the summer, or back in the school fall, when the school started. And then we go back here to these hard working ladies back here. Yeah, my mom. Oh, hello. And uh, my sister in the, she's back there patting out something, I guess. I'm Pauline, coleslaw. she's making coleslaw. Then you have Jacoby. Her sister works worked with us. She went on to LN, LPN class and graduated from that and left us. Uh oh. She became a nurse. <laughs> and then her mom works with us on the evening shift sometimes and works at the school, so she double duties. So we're glad we got our family with us. Because it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be us without them. Right. You gotta have that help, don't yeah. you? So what are they making back here today? Coleslaw? I, I know coleslaw. that I love the coleslaw. I always yep. get the coleslaw. So y'all hand make it right yep. here, huh? Yes. Every day. Every day you make it coleslaw. That's what you're doing right there? Oh, yeah. Doing. Oh, okay. I know every, I've had some comments that people talking about the coleslaw. Then we got some beans going on over here. got some beans over there. Raise the lid there, Jacoby. And let him see the beans. Got two big pots of them, so that's a special the same day every week. Yep. Yeah. And then we got hot dogs and stuff over here going got on. Got a little so gravy in, so then we got our still got chili. Still got gravy for breakfast. So yep. How late you serve breakfast here during the day? Uh, they'll come in sometimes, what, 11.30 or something? It's 30, 11. Yeah. Depends on how everybody comes. Yeah. <laughs> they'll get it when they, if they, they'll serve it if they got it. You got kept in your, you got kept in your kids out here? Yes, I do. Do you know what? What was your name again? Martha Goins. Martha. All right. I, I don't think I've seen you here before. I guess you're back here in the kitchen, huh? Well, She's I come in the evenings. In the evenings. <laughs> okay. She works at the school. Oh, okay. Too. So I she ain't, she ain't retired. She's so retired you, fifteen got, times. Retired got two jobs. <laughs> yeah. Retirement ain't good. You don't like retirement? No. Better be busy, no. wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's where a lot of people are. <laughs> all right. I'm here. Uh, with Paul Burles, is that right? Mm -hmm. You're a Gulf War veteran, yep. and uh, you've lived, uh, born, I guess, on the, was you born and raised on the creek? What you no, my dad was. I was born in Ohio. He was born in Ohio? But I stayed with my grandparents a lot. On Stinking Creek? On Stinking Creek, yeah. When I asked you where you're from, you said, I'm from up on the creek. And yeah, said, that's where my family's from. Yeah, I did a video up there of Ruth, Ruth Cox Door. That was a good video for me. So, you, where you live at now? I live, uh, Right down the valley here, just the other side of Big O's. Oh, okay, you're close then. Mm -hmm. You come to Judy's here to eat quite a bit still? Yep, quite a bit. You know, you said Judy was your aunt, so you remember this as a teenager when she first opened it yeah, up and come in here? It was already a store before she was here. That was a, what was it called before? Do you remember? It was a that? gas station before. A gas station. Yeah, a little convenience store, but it wasn't much of anything. It was more of a bait shop. Right, bait shop. Look at that, I see what you got here to eat. I'll check this food out. Boy, oh, that looks good. What is that, bacon cheeseburger? Yep. Oh my goodness. Uh, did you eat here when you was a kid, with, since you ain't running? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did, you get, did you ever give you a hot dog for free? Did you always charge you? No, I got some for free. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all right. So, uh, what kind of you? Uh, what type you? What type of work are you doing now? You're working in. I'm retired. Retired now. now, just taking it easy. Well, how about that? Yep. Well, we're sure glad you came out today, and we appreciate your service for our country. Okay. You're welcome. Good talking to you. Uh -huh. thank you. You know the great thing about the job you're doing is you are recording American history at its basic level, the the human level. And, and it's the direction modern history is going. It's like this little girl riding a bicycle, uh, motorcycle all over the world. I think they call it itchy boots. And, and, and she is recording so many places. It, and, and it's guys like you that are doing these things and putting them out there on the internet. It's the direction of modern history. And the fact that people watch your videos and, and, and tune into them shows the real direction and desire of the American people to want to know how local history actually works and operates. And it's a wonderful thing you're doing uh, for our nation, for our people, and, and recording uh, our history for eternity. 
uh, you're to be honored for this. There ought to be awards for this. There, get rid of the Oscars and bring up the video awards you know, and start uh, rewarding you people for doing what you're doing. It's, it's, it's a great contribution to American history and it'll be with us forever. You're a great American uh, and you should be honored for what you're doing for this country. Well, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I've never had nobody tell me that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> well, it's a reality, and and uh, I, I discuss this in my book. And I wish I knew had known more at the time I wrote this book uh, back in 2016, I think. Uh, and I was not as familiar with the kind of work you're doing at that time. But uh, but it. it it's such a great contribution utilizing this modern technology. So we have great historians like you. You may not go down in history like uh, some of the great writers of uh, these thick tombs, you know, <laughs> of uh, history. But uh, but but you're you're uh, recording America as it really is. Hello. Now you you I was where at? At the general store in Rocky Top. Oh, are you, you from... see me there. Oh, I yeah. live in Carroll, but Rocky Top Carroll. I yeah. do YouTube channel too. I told her we to have to go for their fried bologna. What's your name of your YouTube channel? At her Chaos Sobby Farm. Oh yeah? Yeah. What kind of videos do you do? Whatever hits my brain that day. <laughs> we'll have to check it out. <laughs> Today it's hanging out with her. Yeah. Well, I'll get some uh, video footage with you when you get your food here in a minute then, okay? Okay. All right. Good, good meeting you. All right. Where's old Kobe, buddy? Can't pour no concrete in this rain today, can you? Nope, not today. Guess it's an off day, huh? We're playing in the mud today. The mud? Get here quite a bit, Kobe? Uh, About every week. Every week, yeah. Pretty good place to get something to eat, ain't it? It is. What are you going to have today? I don't know. Yeah, my mom's best thing. I think I'll you the beans? Yeah. Alrighty. You want onion? Yeah. Can I get a big slice of beer? Yes, ma'am. Alrighty. Get the beans. Yeah, two hot dogs. And then whatever she gets. What are you going to order? The special. Oh, that's what I have. A big old slice of onion. Well, good. Got to have onion with the pinto Absolutely. Burn my bacon. BLT. Burnt. She likes burnt bacon. Okay. You want no squealing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. And I'd say General Store do burnt bologna for her, too. We'll see. She likes it burnt, huh? Everything burnt. Burnt hot dog. Probably <laughs> <laughs> a or lemonade. Or a I don't know. I think I'm going to get a part. That's what I'm going to get. So you've already had the special today? I did, yeah. I tried to eat a little while ago because I know once lunch started, people will be coming in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pork, yes. Yeah. Pork, yes. Pork, yes. Pork, yes. Pork, yes. Pork, yes. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. No way. Yeah. I'll pick a few more, honey. Yeah. The two fister. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, we'll both get her. Come on. You, you yeah, I already ate. Thanks. We're both going to get you. <laughs> Is it the way you ask? Well, that's a good thing. Well, you weren't filming that. <laughs> All right, uh, Angie, I see you just finished up with your uh, lunch here. I that's, think you cleaned it up. I up. pretty much cleaned it up. It was good, home cooking. And, and yeah. I didn't have to cook it. That was even better. 
<laughs> well, we're glad you came out today. We've been talking a little bit, and you was telling me about your YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel. I and, do. And tell everybody the name of that. It's Utter Chaos Hobby Farm. And you do different things. A little there. bit of everything, yeah. And you got your mom on there too with you, don't you? I sometimes. do. I do, and she'll be 82 this year. Well. Yeah. Well, I'll have to come visit you at your place sometime, make a video at your place. Okay, yeah. sounds like a plan. And you got a friend with you here, you got Tammy with Tammy. you? Tammy, yes I do. So you two get out and go out and eat sometimes? We do, out to eat, and sometimes she does videos too, and she'll send them to me, especially when I was sick, she'd send me clips of stuff, and uh, put a smile on my face, and I'd work it into a video. She said, well, I didn't mean for it to go out, and I said, well, it was good enough, I put it out there. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just looking at your YouTube channel here, and you, you put out a video almost every day, don't you? I do. Yeah. Just a little bit of something. Keep people company. And how long you been doing that? Over, probably close to four years on every day. Really? Yeah. Every day for four years? Almost, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I couldn't imagine doing that. It's just short clip, you know, short videos. Yeah. Not like yours. Yours are detailed. <laughs> well, uh... Mine's just uh, living each day, whatever hits my brain. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, people might try to look you up there if they want to, and it's, uh, tell us one more time, uh, Utter? Utter, U-T-T-E-R, uh -huh. Chaos Hobby Farm. Utter Chaos Hobby Farm. And uh -huh. you're right here in the same county as me. I'm in Campbell County. Campbell County. How about that, yeah? Yeah. Well, it's good to meet you today. Good to ladies. meet you. I'm glad you ladies came out to eat. This is your first time here, though, right? First time here. She's been here before. She said she vouched for Judy. Oh, okay. Well. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, good talking to you, ladies. Well, thank you, John. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you. Have a great day. What'd you say, buddy? I'm glad I'm watching my stuff. Oh, do you watch my videos? I do. I do too. I watch all of your stuff too. And they're they're interesting in a lot. Well, thank you. We're here today making one about Judy's. Well, you making it about a good place because it's the best place in town to eat. Oh, it is, ain't it? It is. It's here for Richard. Yeah. Richard, he's a, he's our deal with, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I figured it's this here, you'd be John Dyer. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Um, hold on. Or what's his name? John Dyer? That guy comes out of my house. Give him a bad dream. No, that's not it. Yeah. Give you a hard time. Judy Burger. Is it Judy Burger, Cheeseburger, and Two Curlies? Yep. No, which one? That's the Judy Burger. Burger, fries, and then. I can't remember what goes in. We're going to go on that. Right. Okay. okay. It's a Judy Burger, a Philly, two fries, and an onion rings. Okay. See you probably tomorrow. See you, buddy. Bye. Now, what was your name again? Renee. Renee, how long have you been working here? About eight months. Eight months, yeah. yeah. You go up here in this area? No, I'm from Fondy, Kentucky. Von D, Kentucky. Well, that's not too far, is it? Not too far. Just over the mountain, ain't it? Yeah, I'm through the woods. <laughs> you know what I think about Kentucky? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing like a good old Kentucky girl. Oh, I know. You're a good girl. So you live, you live here in Campbell County now? Yeah. 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 Well. Here's Thank you, ma'am. I need a, another special for here. With onion and one salmon patty. Okay, thank you. All right. You could at least wore a better shirt. Bye. 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 They're giving you a hard. Judy's Looks like the sun's gonna come out a little bit out there, maybe. Yeah, that is that one. Yes. 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 Y
Yes, sir. Yeah, there's John Moore. It is, ain't it? There's Lonnie Hatmaker. I come to him so much today, didn't you? <laughs> You need anything else? Oh, I've got all of your napkins. I'll go get you some. Okay. Thank you. There, there, there. You mean get them? You got it? Yeah, I got it. I apologize. I'm a mess. Now, what's your name? You're just Casey. Casey. Yes. You just come on shift? Yes, at one o'clock. Yeah, you work the closing? Yes. How long have you worked here? Uh, this time I worked here about seven or eight months. I worked three years before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for Judy. Judy yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. Help. How nervous can you tell? No, are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How you doing, John? I'm not doing too bad. How you doing, Lonnie? You're doing pretty good. Yeah. Sorry to hear about your wife passing. Well, she is so sick, John. Is God's blessing that she can go on and not have to suffer no more. Yeah. You you eat up here quite often. I've seen you here before. Yeah, I do. I come every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because of the beans? You like the beans? Well, they, it's all good. Beans? And you got a salmon patty, too, didn't you? Yeah, I never had those, but I was trying. Just got a good taste to it. Yeah. Got you some strawberry milk there, too, looks like. I didn't know I got it till I opened it. You didn't know you got strawberry? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. Got you, a, got you a dessert and a drink at the, in the same mm -hmm. thing, didn't you? Yeah. Well, we just up here making a video about Judy's today, so we're just filming some people. They serve good food here. Oh so. yeah, yeah, I know. I, I've been eating here for about thirty years. Yeah, they serve good food. <laughs> well, good talk to you, Lonnie. I'll let you eat, buddy. All right, thank you. Glad to have you as a neighbor. Oh yeah, well, thank you, Lonnie. You guys like eating here quite a bit? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've probably seen you up here before when I've been here. I come yeah. here. I used to live down the road, but now I live down in La Follette, so I ain't up here mm -hmm. as much, but I used to live about a mile from here. Yeah. So, we live in La Follette, yeah. yeah. It's hard to find these little stores making good home cooking anymore, More, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. This is good, too. I mean, they, they got some good food. Oh, yeah. yeah. That Richard, he's yeah. a hard worker, ain't he? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, whole family is. Yeah, they all yeah. work here just about. Richard, his sister, and yeah. the other sister's mom. Yeah. <laughs> they all here. Hey, we're going to work for his mother today. Oh, are you? Yeah, you have to pray for us. Really. Well, what do you got to do for her today? Uh, putting up ceiling tile. Putting up ceiling tile for her, okay. Yeah. You do... If she don't run us off before we get there. Yeah, I think she just left here, so. Uh -oh. she's. She's up there on the war pipe. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, your guys' names? I'm Jim Shepard, David Law. Jim and David. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but we hear about well, every change we're up here, we can stop in and get something. Oh, know? absolutely, yeah. Have a habit. <laughs> <laughs> well, good talk uh, to you guys. Yeah, you too. All right, Richard. I notice every time I come in here, you like collecting some local stuff from some of the stores. That's something I've not seen since I was a little kid. These Woodson shopping bags, they used to put them in paper back before that's plastic. Yeah, this one right there, that was, was, was the old store. That was in the 80s. This one right here is the 80s, the mall. Yeah, when they moved to the big place. I see well, it. They both, they, both of them, they had both of them at that time. Now, how, how did you come across those old bags? Those right there, some, I don't, a guy had them as, as Grandma had them, and he brought me one apiece. What he had of those? Well, how about that? So the people just threw them away. Now they're collectible. Because for us, we grew up with Woodson's as yeah. our main grocery store, and you worked there servicing. I guess you took bread there. Well, I worked for Woodson in the '85 and '86. That's what was in high school, right yeah. out of high school. Yeah. So then you got a white stores bag. That was one of our first chain stores we ever got in Campbell County, right there. White stores. This uh, old lady had that. Put it, she had them. She had a stack of them. She, somebody, they got them from her, and they brought it in here. Oh yeah, so you got a bunch more of them down through here. The the white yeah. store ones. Yeah, I've got a, those right there. I found those. Nobody knows exactly how those plastic carts are. They don't have a clue. 
Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, uh, something else I saw of interest. You got these Kern signs <laughs> over here in the corner. Where'd you come across them at? Them's nice. I got, uh, I got those off of Don Hammonds when I worked with Kerns up there in Kentucky. They're 56, yeah, 50, 58 and 59, they've never been put up. Never put up? I took them out of the paper when I you bought did. the store. How about that? They're, they're dated too, you can see right down yeah. here. Back then on the signs they would put the, uh, I think that's what I'm looking at right there, 59 maybe. So you, you was a Kerns. Uh, yeah. Those, uh, all those current uh, right there, they could never been out of the paper. So I put them up down here. They come from the same place the other yeah. side did. What, what was the store that they found all this no, stuff in? Or? He was my supervisor. He had them oh. in a the building. So he, how long did he, so he just had them. These had originally them. come from Kearns. Yeah, they're, he had them put up. And I said, I want them. And I left up there. He gave them to me. How about that? Well, they're probably worth a little bit of money. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> them. Them's a nice shape. So you expanded this part. I remember when Judy's was here, this, these tables wasn't here, I don't no. think. We've opened up, put more seating in here to cover it. Yeah. Now, do you live up the valley here too still? Yeah. Okay. So all your families here, you got your, your sisters, two of your sisters, one of your sister's partners with you, yeah. Charlene, another one works for you, and your mom works for you. And you got nieces here, I guess. And yeah. Kind of family-run business, ain't it? Oh yeah, if you didn't have that, you couldn't find people to work. <laughs> <laughs> Your family uh, helps you out, don't they? Yeah, they do. So yeah, I like the way you got it decorated. Now I noticed on the TV every time I come in here, you got it on uh, the Western Channel, I guess. What is that channel you play up there? I don't know. It's usually got no Western playing on it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, you like you like antique stuff too. There's no stove right there. What do you know about that old stove? It come out of a caboose. It was made in Knoxville. Oh, it's for a train. Train is a train stove. Well, yeah. Every time I come up here, it seems like you had a piece or two in here. <laughs> now, this is what I used to do right here, Richard. I made these pictures like this right here. This probably came from my business. It probably did. I made those. So, a lot of those pictures of old country stores like that, and we framed, we made frames. That frame wasn't one I made, but we'd buy frames or make frames, and the old country store pictures was really popular. I think I still got one. I had to bring you one up one time and give it to you. I think I might have a match to that one. There's a mate to it. If I find it, I'll bring it to you. Gonna go fishing? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Yeah? <laughs> you been buying stuff here for a while? A good while. Yeah? Okay, all together it's 13 on four. You got you some chili cheese fries? Oh wow, who's that for? For you, you take a lunch? I'm going to take it home. You going to take it home, are you quitting for today? Oh, I'm in and out all the time. In and out, you live close too, huh? In front of the school. In front of the school? How long have you lived up there? 53 years, so you remember back before this is even Judy's then, don't you? No, I remember Judy's. Yeah, I know, but, but before was, that. Yes, I do. It was, uh, Leon Ferris. Leon Ferris is a gas station. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Bait stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, they didn't sell no food back then, did they? No, no, it was just a, a more of a filling station. And bait shop. You come get some bait and go catch you some food, couldn't you, at the lake? I never was 
seen it. You didn't look for bait, did you? Probably that wasn't your thing. Probably was it? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> well, you like working here? I love it. Do you? I love working. You gotta keep them kids straight, don't you? You got it. <laughs> you got it. Or they keep mom straight. <laughs> they keep mom straight. They keep you busy. Keep you out of trouble, don't they? <laughs> Making that? A chicken filling. A chicken filling. I really have, good. absolutely. They're really good. I like them. So you've been working here longer than anybody, I guess. Yes. I, just, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm as good as everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who makes up the chili? I've just been here a long time, that's all. Who makes up the chili? Richard. Richard makes the chili? Yes. Oh, so Richard gets here early, don't he? Yeah. I get here at 5 and he gets here probably about 3.30, maybe 4. Really? Uh, I don't know how he does it, but he does. <laughs> so what do you usually work on that early in the morning? What do you breakfast? Start on mm -hmm. breakfast? Getting everything ready, yep, for the day. Everything's stocked up, full. So you're making out hamburger patties? I am. You weigh each one of them to see how much they weigh, huh? Well, I'm at 26 for a regular. A little over. Did you come to work here when uh, Richard and Charlene bought the place? No, I came a little later. I had been sick. And the, they let me come up here to do my therapy. And I the, haven't left yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. What time do you come in during the day? Seven. Seven? Yeah. Who works the latest here, closing up? Uh, Charlene, and uh, they have three on night shift. They got Kelly, Casey, and Alicia. And they work. What time they come in? Uh, from one to eight. One to eight. Well, we'll be able to catch them when they come in then. Hopefully. Guess a few people leave and a few more come in then. Yep. It's got Carrie and Renee leave at one. And then Kobe and I will leave it too. Unless we're busy and then we stay in hell.
Okay, everybody that's watching the video, y'all come on here and see us. We've enjoyed you for all these years, so come on back some more. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Now, what was your name? Jacoby. Jacoby.